Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play RuinScape. So RuinScape is now on Steam, which is really cool. I think it's been on there for a bit now. And uh, we're going to be starting a new character. I played about a year ago or so. I didn't get too far and I kind of wanted to start fresh, get a refresher. And uh, I kind of enjoy, you know, the starting of games anyways. And RuinScape's a really unique game. It's a pretty cool community. And uh, the game just keeps calling back to me. So I'm going to, you know, start over here and, uh, you know, let's get going. So we're going to click login. So this is the Steam one. So I played around with the character creator. I don't know if it actually saves where my character look like, but uh, I thought, hey, I could do it ahead of time. And then we'd have to sit there too long. Oh, there you go. The character's there. So, um, yeah, because I wanted to check out the names and stuff. It's always hard to pick out names in this game. So I just I thought I'd play around with the character creation here ahead of time. So we're sitting there. So let's go ahead. I uh, came up with a name. So uh, one of the hardest parts of this game is picking out names. Uh, if you, let's just say, you decided you want to delete your character, you can't delete your character. You can't change the account, things like that. Basically, you're kind of screwed. Um, and uh, I think the only way you can change your name is you have to have premium membership and then you can change the name but then it's still held on that count for a while i think or something i don't know all the rules and everything else but uh i came up with the name tasty timbits yeah i know kind of crazy but i like it i think that's very canadian sounding so uh let's go ahead and get in the game uh so one of the things i want to let you know is that um if you would like to um do the recruit a friend there's a link in the description or the comments. I believe I might get some premium membership, which would be nice because I can't really afford the membership. Don't tell anyone that. But um, that way I can end up getting myself some uh, membership sooner than later. That being said, you can definitely grind in the game and over time get membership. And it's a lot easier in this game compared to many uh, other games out there, which makes it very difficult, almost near impossible to do it from a free player. But you can definitely do it in this game. So what is your experience with RuneScape? I have never played before. I've played before, but not in a while. I have played very recently. I'm going to go with I've played very recently. I'm sure there's been a hundred million people who've done, you know, have never played or, you know, whatnot and done the refreshers. I'm going to just kind of jump right into it because if I recall, the tutorial is pretty much that a tutorial. And then I don't even think you keep what you bring out of it. I could be wrong. But the idea is basically, let's just jump right into Birthorp. This is a really cool town. It's actually my favorite town probably in the game. Then again, I've never been to the Elf City before, which would be really amazing to get there. So uh, maybe one day that'll be, uh, you know, in our, our reach basically, but not today. Today is not the day. So uh, here we go. So talk to blah, blah, blah. And okay, so we're going to go talk to the person over here. So this is telling you what's going on. So their, their UI is a bit weird. Uh, oh, looks like there's a double EXP weekend going on here. Wait, aren't you supposed to get like two days worth or something when the timer is paused, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to pause this. Yeah, double XP weekend. I'm, I'm kind of confused on the numbers and whatnot, but that's fine. Um, what is this? Oh, there you go. That, that works. It hides it. So I don't want to worry about that right now. That double XP is not going to make or break us, especially when you first start. That's for people who are higher up that, you know, have the ability to kind of really skill up and stuff. So uh, we have an activity tracker. We're going to just roll the activity tracker over here for now, I guess. Um, looks like that's as small as it's going to get. That's fine. So we're going to go over here. This game is smooth and it's a beautiful game. Like you have to remember this game is quite old, but they keep updating this game over time, which looks fabulous. Let's move over this here. Okay. So, uh, what do you got? I forgot you can click like through the interfaces. So, uh, so your adventure, something to kill fortune and glory. Um, I'm an adventure. Ah, oh, you come to the right place. I'm the Slayer Master. Train adventures to seek out and defeat specific monsters. I'll identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. Uh, Birthorp is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Are eager to battle monsters for fun, heroism, pro and profit. Then Slayer skill is for you. Uh, trolls are the real enemy in Birthorp, but you need food and armor to survive against them. Oh my, this guy did not do so well. Uh, sh sh you should be prepared. Uh, before risking your life in combat. This is the last adventure they sent me. He fought the trolls without armor or food. Don't be him. So did he go in there without armor and food? or And you told him to wear it? Or maybe you've learned a lesson and now you tell us about it. Hmm? 
Uh, so you get some path complete stuff there, okay. The nearest fishing spot is the lake to the south of us. Go and catch and cook yourself plenty of crayfish. We eat to live while fighting trolls. Uh, to cook raw food, when there is an, uh, a range nearby, you can make fire by burning logs. So first chop some logs from the tree near the crayfish. Then you'll need some melee armor, a helmet at the very least. Once you have food, get ore from the mine southwest here to smith yourself a bronze helmet. I love that. Okay, farewell. Thank you, sir. Okay, so uh, the mini-map shows the area you're currently in. Blah, blah, blah. That's cool. I think you can click on the mini-map. If I recall, I used to do that all the time, in fact, I think. So I don't know where you want to put your activity uh, tracker. It's up to you. I actually, I probably will put it back here. Um, but anyways, uh, and this, this map can get quite big, by the way. And the beauty of it, I guess this is as big as it gets. I guess that this is the, the limit on this. This is the beauty of this. Uh, I wouldn't play like this ever, but you can go like this and he will walk there. So a big part of RuneScape uh, is being able to basically uh, use the minimap and use that as a, a way to get around a little easier, potentially, instead of like clicking around like this. You can do just that anyways. But obviously, if you have a marker here, it's a lot easier to deal with this than doing that, right? So, hey. That's my tree. I've been I've been quested to that tree. Oh my! It has like an AI that is smart enough to tell me to go to another tree. Look at that. Today's games, I can't even do that. So we got enough there. Let's cut down some more. Uh, that's the oak one. That might be too. Yeah, that's level fifteen. So as you skill up, you'll be able to cut bigger and better trees. Now we actually have a hatchet. I don't remember how to bring this up. I think we go to armor. And then, is this the tool belt? Ah, here it is. So we actually are full of different things. We have pickaxe, axe, uh, hammer, chisel, knife, tinderbox, saw, uh, pastel and mortar, um, machete, possibly, watch, I guess, too. I guess those are in there. Chart, sextant, uh, shears, nose wand. Yeah, it's the nose wand. Uh, tongue. You know, like the tongue, like uh, to take the, the... I think that's like to take like the hot materials from smithing and stuff like that, but enhanced grappling hook, not stored. Master Thief's lockpick, not stored. Master Thief's uh, stethoscope, not stored. Uh, insect repellent, not stored. Steel key ring, not stored. And then uh, incense burner. Oh my goodness, there's so many different things. I'm not going to go through them. But it's actually really cool when you think about all the different tools you have. But they do start you with quite a few of them. I'm guessing that's on purpose because... Wait, there's a hive on that? That is so cute. I don't think I've ever seen a hive in a tree before. That must be something newer. Yeah, I think that might be a bit newer. There you go. So uh, if we go to skills, I think I'm chopping the tree, though. I don't feel like I'm doing a good job of chopping this tree down. Let's try again, shall we? Oh, there we go. We were. There you go. Okay. Let's go to our inventory. So these are your skills. So when you're when you're cutting down trees and stuff like that, you get skills. You can see your there you go. We leveled up. So congratulations. So you can click these and see, you know, information. So you're not level two, you unlock this. If you were to click it again here, you can actually see all the different unlocks and all the abilities. So for example, it said level fifteen for oak. So you can see at level fifteen here, you can do an oak tree here. So it includes the vine oak tree. There you go, some extra information. But um, very, very cool in that sense that uh, it's a very well laid out, lots of information, can e easily be overwhelming. Um, I would already be overwhelmed if I hadn't played this game a bit last year, um, to be fair. So <laughs> I still will consider myself a noob. I will do a lot of newbie things, but uh, I think that's the beauty of it. So now what we're doing is we're fishing here. So we're collecting some of these crayfish. I might as well do the, uh, there's this little... Uh, progression down here. Might as well do all 12 of them. Well, I guess you're supposed to do that anyways up here. And this is your path system. It's kind of like a built-in tutorial, which I think is really cool, so. I think the audio got clipped out. Okay, thank you. Sounds good. I think the audio got clipped out of there. I don't know if we can increase the audio sources on here at all. No, let's actually, I don't know how bad the sounds are, but let's adjust some of these down a little bit more. Voiceovers can be nice and high. I like them always, though I remember this game had some voiceover issues, so 
Um, and what I mean by that is I, I'm pretty sure if I recall, some voiceovers were really low and some were high. So I don't know if they've equalized them a bit more over time, but uh, you might have that issue. You can see my graphic settings are maxed out here. Um, this game is obviously a 2D game and it's a really well done uh, little engine here. I think it's in C++. Back in the day though, the game wasn't in C++. It was actually done in Java and then eventually they upgraded it and they uh, brought it to what you see here now. So. Uh, so uh, you can actually do the wood here. So you can actually do add to bonfire. So this lets you work on your fire making basically if you want to. So you just basically throw more wood in there and you can slowly work on that. I think she hurt herself there. Yeah, that that's something new. I don't think we had that before. Interesting. There's a, or I never noticed it before, but yeah, she, she kind of burned herself there. There you go, level two fire making. Let's say, how's my chat doing? I don't have to think I have to worry about that for a while. They even have a wiki search thing in this. That is clever. That is actually really cool. So let's let's try that. Um, so we're doing crayfish, right? So crayfish. I assume it's going to open the browser. Yeah. So my, uh, I didn't even ask, which I like that. So it's showing crayfish. This article is about cooked versions, so lots of information. Their wiki is fantastic in this game, by the way. So we can click the crayfish. You can click this. I think you can also just right-click this and use. Yeah, there you go. Same idea. But basically, this is just your crafting screen, and uh, you can even change your selected tools there, which I don't think you normally have to. It's probably all automatic, but there you go. We can cook these. You can burn your crayfish. Actually, I don't know if you can burn crayfish because they're such a... They're such a low-level item that they might just not burn. Or they have a very little chance. Basically, as you get your cooking up higher, uh, the less chance you burn. But, of course, the more higher foods you're, you're cooking also have you know higher chance to burn as well until you're, until you're higher than them. So There you go. Awesome. Done. Yay! Look at we're badass. I have enough food. Now I need to mine some resources. Okay, so we're gonna do that now. Okay. So we're gonna go over here. So remember, you can use the mini map. I I do like walking around a bit too. Kind of makes you feel like you're engaging the world a bit more. So everyone's doing their their mining there and stuff like that so let's go ahead and see what we got over here so we got some copper over here now there's a I guess that's your progress stamina there's a stamina system I think it's like level 10 maybe level 15 um, basically you can get stamina there's actually an option and oh yes that's right you have to enable it so um, you get more I'm gonna finish this one up I don't think it matters but you'll get a like a big oomph right here when you do it watch this oomph there you go. So let's see here. There's settings and uh, skills. Good work. Okay, so it wants me to get some tin. We can do tin next. Um, I wanted to show you something here that I think you have to enable. Ah, yes, here it is. Show stamina bar when mining. So this is important later on. It says unlocks at 15. Okay, so basically later on when you hit level 15, you'll have this other bar. I think it was orangish looking, but... Uh, it's been a while, so somebody would have to correct me on that, obviously. But uh, anyways, the idea is basically um, you need to move around from rock to rock. So you can sit there and mine it for a bit. And I think you build up and have, you know, you, you know better skills and things that will help you with it. But the idea is you just can't sit at one rock and just keep mining it, mining it, mining it forever. It wants you to kind of move around and uh, kind of refresh your stamina, uh, which is kind of cool. So here's the furnace anyways. So, uh, yeah, okay, so you can deposit all your materials in here if you want to. So, uh, it stores all away, and then you can click the bronze here, and then begin project. So, there you go. Gonna smelt the bronze here. Awesome. And then we're gonna go over here to the heat forge, and uh, we're gonna deposit those ingots now. And, or bars. And then uh, we're gonna select bronze, and then we're gonna select the full helmet here. And we're gonna begin the project here. There you go. And uh, then we're going to take that product. It's not finished yet. We got to mold it, right? Uh, basically, that's what we're doing now. So um, we're, we're basically molding that helmet, which is cute. So lots of little steps, you know, just to forge your, your helmet, which I like a lot. And there you go. 
Uh, and there we have it. So uh, we can go ahead and wear that. You also have your equipment here. You can you can drag this out if you want. Keep it in there. It's all up to you. Obviously, you can add more you know tabs in here as well. So, but uh, there we go. And oh, they gave us a bunch of bronze. Okay, so we have options. I'm ready to go fight the trolls. I want to make a full suit of armor. Yes, I want to make a full suit of armor, please. So we're going to go back to the heat forge here. We're going to deposit what we just got. We're going to click the bronze again. So we can make chain uh, the chain body or the bronze plate body. And you can actually see the thing here. So bronze plate. Um, they're showing the one. I wonder... I don't want... I want to make this one, but they have a different cost. This is your... I believe if I recall, this is the Grand Exchange. Ah, yes, it says there. Grand Exchange value. This is the store, like the vendor value. And this is important later on because there might be some things that are worth crafting just so you can then sell it on the Grand Exchange to make profit. Um, and some stuff will be bought in the, the insane amounts because people can use that material to maybe upgrade it, break it. Uh, maybe they can enhance the smithing. There's like, I think if I remember, there's like a plus one, plus two, plus three. So some people will buy somewhat finished products just to skill even faster on it. And so the prices can actually go up on certain products quite a bit. So it's really cool to have the Grand Exchange information linked in there. The cool thing is the wiki there, you know, the wiki button also links that information, for example. So if I type in, um, oh, I'm so bad. Oh, it says here, bronze plate body. So bronze plate body, like so. And I open up the wiki. Or you could just literally type plate, uh, bronze plate body wiki runescape on Google. Um, so let's see. the Right now, the coin on the exchange... Grand Exchange is 931, so it's not, you know, this might be a little inaccurate. That one might be a little inaccurate, but you can look at the chart. There's even actually a chart on there. So if I go over the last, say, one year, the market on these actually at one point was 2,330 uh, credits each or, or gold, I guess they call it in the game. But over time, it's been dropping nonstop. In fact, it's dropping quite a bit. Now, you know, obviously it's 931, but... It, you know, the 30-day average is 15, 12, but the, when I look at the graph, it's just like skyrocketing downwards. So obviously it's not worth it, but um, it, it gives you really good information to learn about the, 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 the system, the market. I mean, you could even, you know, play the market in a sense like, okay, so if you know some item is getting more and more expensive, maybe certain changes, maybe even uh, the double EXP weekend that's up right now, for example. Um, you know, there, there are people who will pay even more for certain products perfect time to to learn and play all that now a lot of that's beyond me i do know the concept and the idea of a lot of it i never was great at that but at the same time it was part of the game that it just makes it phenomenal basically like when you think of how in depth this game is just when you just even think about the market system alone the grand exchange it's like wow that's impressive so it's a, an extremely player-based economy game. Uh, you know, obviously there's mob drops and other things out there. If you play uh, another game, Albion Online, you know, it's more hardcore into the really only the player economy. But I don't think uh, most games could really be compared to the, the RuneScape economy just because of how amazing their player economy is overall. So, oh, we got the bronze. Okay, so... With this, we can actually use this to store ores, and then we can go and get a lot more ores here. So, it wants us to get three of each, which we can do. There we go. I guess I can do this. I don't know if I move fast enough to make it worth it, but I just, I feel like it's worth it, so I'm going to do it, but... I, I hope to myself it's worth it, right? The, the leap over there. And now you can actually AFK somewhat in this game as well. That's a big part of what people do. Um, I get to lose some weight actually in real life. And one of the things I'm going to do is actually install RuneScape on my phone. And I'm going to go for walks in the evenings. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do just some skilling up and whatever on my walks. Uh, I just need to be there to make sure, you know, I move from, you know, rock to rock. Or, you know, make sure I he heal up if I'm, you know, doing combat stuff or whatever. But basically, I thought, yeah, this is a good way to work on myself, you know, make myself better and healthier. 
uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, something I can do for fun. You know, it's sometimes walking is kind of boring. You know, I live in the middle of nowhere and I mean, in the nor middle of nowhere is pretty fun, too. Don't get me wrong. There's beautiful sights and, you know, sounds and everything else. But when you walk the same path over and over, I mean, there's only so much, obviously. Right. So um, having this as something to do while for going for my walk, I think that's kind of cool. So just something I could work on myself. So if you want to store your materials, I guess you just oh, you just click that. There you go. It even shows you. And I think it said it stored like a hundred of each. So um, that's really cool. And I guess as you level up, basically, if you unlock like the next, you know, I don't know if it's iron or, you know, whatever. But basically, as you expand and work on it, you'll uh, build better boxes. I think you upgrade them and stuff like that. So um, I guess we can dump these in first. There you go. I guess it runs off of there, too, if you wanted to, but that's fine. So there you go. We'll smith some more here. Go. And we're gonna go over here. We're gonna store that away, and then we're gonna click the bars. And what are we making today? Oh, our plate. So bronze. Let's go for the this one here. Again, project. So these ones apparently can sell. They sing up to two thousand. Whether or not it sells for that, that's another question. But it is saying that they're worth a decent amount. And there we have it. Look at those fancy wood things somebody has. I think you can get, I don't know if you get more points or how that works. There's something related to using other people's fires too that can be good, I think. I don't know all the rules and all the, the whatnots, but um, definitely even during a double EXP week, even if you're not really benefiting it much, um, there's a lot of people who are placing things that can help you skill up faster too, which is interesting. So, okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, venture to the domain. Okay, reward three sandwiches. Banking. Learn to bank. Okay, we can learn to bank here for a second. Oh, the bank is simple. Um, well, we should probably deposit these. Which one? In this one, was it? Yeah. So those are notes. Notes are great for traveling, uh, but the notes themselves are kind of useless um, when uh, in the world because you can't, like, normally you can't use them in the world. So if you had a note of food, basically. Um, unfortunately, you wouldn't be able to actually do anything with that. Um, you wouldn't be able to eat it. You'd have to bring it to the bank or whatever. But at the same time, uh, it's great for, you know, moving things. And uh, sometimes loot drops like that, which is really nice because then, you know, it's pre-noted and it saves you inventory space. Uh, another cool thing is that um, there's a way to note things on the go. Uh, but I think that get, can get a kind of costly. But I think there's reasons why it's worth it, too. So... Uh, so you can bank stuff in here. Bank is pretty cool. Um, the things stack, obviously, as you see here. Uh, the neat part about the bank also is you can add these tabs in here. So drag an item here. So you can just put this in here. So it's the icon of that item. But at the same time, it filters it. It's, it's not like giving you more bank space or anything. It's just the way it filters it. So uh, you want to delete the... We'll be moved to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're they're actually not being moved. They're just it's literally a, a tab system. It's uh, just a filter system. But uh, yeah, you can deposit everything, all your armor. You can even set up presets here, so you can store your armor in here. It looks like they've really opened a lot of things here. But uh, yeah, so you get you get decent amount of space. Um, if you get premium, you get more space. I think there's other ways you can get more space. But there you go. You gave us some coins for that, I guess. Uh, daily challenges, way of the warrior. So canned food. So excellent. Not only you have food, helmet, and a melee weapon, but you also equipped additional melee armor as well. Done. Uh, now you prepare as first time learn some of the combat techniques. Uh, so combat and roost game uses a resource called adrenaline. So there you go. Uh, as you attack, you'll gain adrenaline. Uh, when you come out of combat, your adrenaline will slowly drain to zero. And there you go. And we get a bar. I actually didn't know if the hot bar was... I mean, you can unlock it or don't unlock it early on. It doesn't matter. But um, I didn't realize we'd have it. I think you get a bunch of hot bars, too, you can set. So there you go. Thresholds, abilities, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Abilities can be accessed on, uh, yeah, on the action bar. Okay, I'm not going to read all this because there's so much information here. Yeah, this this is the part where the some games get overwhelming, especially if you've never played a game before. 
Um, this is where I just like ignore it and say, I think I'll, I'll get it. Drag food to your bar. Okay, so we can drag the food here. So we can go ahead and eat it if we need to. There you go. You're ready to slay trolls. Head to the cave, blah, 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 and defeat five trolls. Okay, let's do that. Look at my beautiful self. I just thought I'd check out my, my outfit here. And then there, here we are. So we're in the cave here. So we're going to defeat five trolls. So basically, uh, there's three sets of trolls here. And I did remember this part um, from before. So basically, these ones, they have, they're, they're, they're weak against magic, I believe. I think that's the idea. So you see that there. Yeah, weakness is air spells. These guys, I think, would have been the arrows. Yeah, these ones are weakness arrows. And then these ones would be probably slashing. Yeah. So slashing would be, for example, sword. And so they're, they are weaker uh, to that, and then it just basically helps you a bit. There you go. There's one down. There you go. And you can bury those bones too, which is uh, kind of worth it. Might be a little bit. There you go. I guess they want us to loot some of this. I think there's an AoE looting in this game anyways. Yeah, there is. There you go. Loot. There you go. And you can work on your prayer. So you can bury the bones. And this is uh, another whole skill that you can work on, which is prayer. And there's uh, this special necklace I think you can get later on that, like, automatically does it for you. And there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. I think there's a, a special table you can use in player housing as well to, to do the bone stuff and get extra XP or something. But um, there's, there's a lot of stuff to that. So I should probably move that loop down here. There you go. Let's do that again. I just want to bring it. There you go. Blue. There you go. Uh, has it been using the abilities automatically? I haven't really paid attention. I think. I, I think it might have been. Yeah, I guess that's just the one ability it keeps using on its own. Yeah, so you can tell it to use abilities. You can even do everything manually. But then you can also leave it kind of all automatic, which is great. So, And, uh, yeah, we could be here forever, basically. And I, I probably will do this between episodes. I probably will spend some time basically killing more trolls, mining. Basically just getting myself some more skill points, but also uh, some materials and stuff like that to work on. Wow. You sure got brutalized out that door. Okay, defeat those trolls. Are you ready to move on? Uh, that was fun. Can I kill some more trolls? That's the spirit. Slay some more. So I wonder if it's just... Is it the same guys? I guess so. So there's probably no... Oh yeah, we got a cape by the way. Should probably wear that. There you go. Now I'm a badass player. It's the cape that does it, right? So are these exactly the same guys? Yeah, troll... Yeah, I think so. They, the, was that what they were called? I guess they were. So really, I just basically did the same thing over again. You can see all your skills leveling up here, so we're going to get some skills. Um, you can actually set uh, your skills up, too, to do less, basically, or more uh, points. So basically, what's happening is your EXP gets kind of divided around. And so if you go to combat, you can say, I only want to gain attack or strength or defense or, or all of it in a sense, right? And so you can you can play it with this. And so you can now level, say, attack really fast. Um, but at the same time, your strength and defense wouldn't be going up. And uh, maybe you're kind of weak, but you're, you're doing really good you know, attack right now. So maybe you'll just want to work on defense and things like that. So there's there's some really cool options there that you can do with that. Um, right now, I think it's just worth doing all of it. But eventually, the grind might get a little slow where you might actually enjoy it a bit more in the sense of just working one at a time. That way, you personally feel better. But also, that way, you're you're unlocking something sooner, right? For example, uh, unlocking... Um, let's get something here. I realize my health is kind of meh. Uh, but that way you're also unlocking, uh, you know, maybe a new armor or a new weapon sooner than having to wait. 
And I believe all the different skill levels do help a bit more. So, like, every time you level up your defense, I think you do get a wee bit of defense. And you know, if you're, uh, you know, doing your strength or attack, I believe you do also probably get a bit more out of that. So, okay. Let's go ahead and loot this stuff. And, oh, look at that sandwich. Weren't they going to reward me a sandwich anyways doing this? Let's get out of here anyways. Let's uh, bury these bones anyways. My poor inventory here. There you go. There you have it. Okay. Get out of the door and this time we won't do the same thing again. <laughs> I wasn't sure, you know, because of the, you know, the armor, I thought maybe he'd offer me like a, a more of a challenge or something there. You know what I mean? So I was just like, eh, why not? Okay. Yes, I'm ready to move on. Great. Uh, okay. So. Oh, it's adding all the skills on here. Blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Run automatic abilities, call revolution. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Each attack, blah, blah, blah. So there's, if you go on the wiki, there's so much information on, like, what you should set these to. And, uh, you know, you can customize it. You can go to the classic way where there is no bar and it does it for you. Um, I think early game, those can be considered quite benefit. But later on game, I, I don't think they are. And there's certain circumstances where they might be better, might not be. Uh, so you can drag your abilities here. So it wants us to drag this here. Wh where are we? Why are we dragging this one? What is this one? Eat food at basic. Consume the first piece of food in your backpack. Oh, I see. So. So the revolution bar is right here. Oh, it opened a whole new bar for us. Oh, interesting. Okay, we can, we can do that. I didn't realize we're going for multiple bars now already. Um, I was going to say... Maybe drag it onto the side here because you don't want to waste up your revolution bar. But then I just realized they were giving us a whole new bar anyway. So there we go. Cool. Um, explore your abilities and talk to blah, blah, blah. Okay. So here's your abilities. I don't know how the, uh, I don't know exactly, oh, I guess we could just talk to him anyways, there you go. You're injured, to heal you should eat some food or stand near a bank. Oh, okay. There you go. Now you're familiar with your abilities, blah, blah, blah. There's a bigger troll now. Oh, damn, I like that. So we just ate most of our food, so. Defeat Morningstar. Star. There's a, a troll named Morningstar, I love that. Oh, damn. He looks like he's a bit moist. Oh, it said there, but we're going to go kick his ass. There you go. So this should automatically play out for you. Oh, look at all the food they gave us. That's awesome. I guess we won't have to worry too much now about food. So as you, you know, you lose health, you probably should eat food. And the cool thing is you can spam eat the food, so that's that's great. But obviously, uh, this is all of the inventory slots you have. There is no more than this. Um, so, you know, you have to be smart and take what you, you, you can use and need. But um, if you're spamming eating food nonstop, you know, maybe that location is not the best place to, you know, skill up too, right? So... Are you using any of my overpill? I wonder if I can throw you guys on here somewhere. Because you should be using some of these like this. I think it's an order thing. I don't know if it's smart enough or it's... Uh, there you go. There you go. We owned them. It's a certain order you want to put them on to. So if I recall, the idea was you put your skills that have... You know, like for example, a skill that requires a trigger... Or a skill that uh, takes a long cooldown or requires like all your adrenaline and stuff like that. You put that near the front. And then it, it works its way through it. So obviously it can't do this one, this one, that one. But then it goes to the next one it can. I could be wrong there, but I feel like that was something it did. So I don't know what that is. Oh, an offhand mace. Oh, cool. Now we're dual wielding. Look at this. We got a big bone. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a really big bone. There you go. You can see some of these people and their crazy milestones. Okay. 
Oh, here's a skill thing somebody's doing right now. So somebody spawned this. And it's like a little dummy or something. I don't know if I can partake in it, but... Probably not. Oh, it's too high for me. Plus only range combat. Yeah, I defeated the leader. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. So, what did we get here? A Slayer Collection Log. Oh, that's cool. So that's something you could probably throw in the bank too, if you like. Oh yeah, they have a cool icon on there. Yeah, they've, they've done a lot of updates to this game since I played it, that's for sure. So you can right click and say deposit all, or, or of course you can do the deposit all button here. And then just grab what you need. So uh, I think that will be it for this episode, to be fair. But we'll come back and obviously we're going to work on more of these. But uh, I think what I'll do is probably do a bit of mining, some skilling on the side, maybe kill some more trolls. But I am a bit tired anyways. So that's probably the last video I'm doing today. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited to get back into RuneScape. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, please consider subscribing, commenting, liking, all that fun stuff. And I hope to see you... Uh, uh, in the comments or in game, whatever. Yeah, I don't even remember what I called myself. It was Tasty Timbits. That's that's my name. Actually, I guess we have a page to ourselves. I don't even know where our, our page would be. It's like, how do you see yourself in this game? Hero. Summary. Yeah, there you go. Tasty Timbits. There, you can change your name here. Use for members, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and I think you can only do it like once a month or something, but that's a members thing anyway, so. Pretty cool anyways. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a good day, guys. Bye.